What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about the new update for Vainglory. So the new update was the 1.1.7 update, and that was named Throw Down the Gauntlet, obviously for the new hero Arden, who is a complete boss. We'll get into him a little bit later, but basically this video is just going to go through everything that they've told us about the update. I'm sure that they've left out some really small things, but uh, this is just going to cover kind of the broad update and give you guys a little bit of an overview of what's been happening. Now also, I want to tell you guys I will have a giveaway coming soon uh, just because I reached 1,500 subscribers, and I said that if we manage to do it inside the January timeline that is before January and I would actually do a giveaway and you guys came out strong we were down 50 subscribers at the beginning of January 30th and by the end we had almost 16,000 or rather 1600 excuse me um, but yeah you guys definitely came out strong and that's going to be deserving of a giveaway so I'll have that in the future but you know what we should just get into the update you guys the update guys because this was really awesome lots of new stuff not just the new hero tons of awesome content added as well and uh, we're just going to break it all down so obviously you have arden the lore for him is actually in game right now if you just want to go to the news tab it'll be right there and it's going to link you to i believe it's either one of their website posts or one of their forum posts and that's basically just going to allow you to learn more about him and maybe it'll even give you a little advantage in game you never know anyway his first perk is uh his his heroic perk and that is Julia's gift obviously named after his wife in the lore if you guys read that you're gonna know all about that basically it gives him health makes him a total boss moving on here we got Vanguard and that's when he dashes to an ally that's how he gets around very quickly and that's also how he's such a protector even in the early game when he doesn't have his gauntlet which is his ultimate but we'll talk about that later moving on we got blood for blood which is pretty much just punching people in the face it is the most boss most awesome most fun ability to use and uh, definitely gonna be showing that off in some future videos but as you can see right now we're checking out cruel or sorry not cruel we're checking out um uh we're checking out jewel wow sorry i can't talk guys but yeah we're checking out jewel right now because she got a buff in this update and i figured people probably wouldn't put that much gameplay of her up because everyone was so focused on arden so i would put up some jewel gameplay and then when all that arden hype dies down maybe i'll put up some arden gameplay as well obviously i'm going to be giving you guys arden gameplay as soon as possible but i didn't want to just be like every other youtuber out there and put up arden gameplay because you guys are going to be seeing tons of that and you'll be playing him yourself Moving on, you got the blood for blood, obviously, punches people in the face and becomes a total boss. Now his favorite ability, my favorite ability that is, and his ultimate is the gauntlet. It basically creates this giant like force field hologram sort of thing and people who are hit into it are stunned either coming in or going out. So it really synergizes well with a lot of people's abilities and I'm going to have a ton of fun figuring out how to use it and uh, maybe some really cheeky ways to defend Kraken or to defend my base, you know, dropping it maybe in that doorway to get inside of the base to stop people from chasing. Could be some interesting stuff, but we're going to move on here. The recommended build for him is the Iron Guard Contract, Crucible, Journey Boots, Clockwork, Shiver Seal, which will obviously turn into the Warhorn, and then the Fountain of Renewal. So basically, um, a pretty tanky build and some, I mean, a little bit of actual damage there, but really not much pure damage, mostly just building that health because health really does go well with him, um, mostly because of his Julia's gift heroic perk but you know really all of him just synergizes well with being a total tank and protecting his allies also a note about him is he actually works off of a different thing he doesn't work off of energy he works off of vengeance and uh, i'll talk about that in my next art and video in my first art and video that is um but for now basically you just got to know that he doesn't quite work off of well, work off of energy and uh, that means that he's a little bit different than some of the other characters in the game moving on here we got the matchmaker improvements basically you're just going to get matched with players who are more fitting for you, and that's going to make the game better overall. And I know that they're just going to keep trying to improve that because matchmaking is something that could always be improved and is always a great thing to have because uh, if you have crappy matchmaking, you have a crappy game. Now, moving on here, we have AFK Prevention, probably the top thing on their list at the moment, and uh, that's going to be the top thing on their list pretty much forever unless AFK suddenly stop happening, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So for the time being, we're going to have to be focusing on that AFK prevention, and they're definitely doing a good job and trying to make that a little bit better. Now moving on, we have the dramatic, dramatic, yeah, totally, the dramatic network traffic reductions up to 70%. That is the title of this section, and basically it means your game doesn't need so much like network connection. You don't need such a good internet connection, and that means that you're going to get less lag, which is something that some people have been experiencing who have a little bit worse internet connections, uh, but really it's going to benefit everyone. And I'm really excited for this because as a streamer, I know this game takes up a lot of bandwidth and you can't really stream and play this game 
at the same time, at least with the amount of bandwidth and the uh, strength of signal that I have where I live. But, you know, I really like to stream, so hopefully this will make it possible by reducing the amount of bandwidth it actually takes. I'm not sure if it does reduce the bandwidth, but, you know, we'll see, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to stream in the future. But that's for another video. Moving on here, friends, chat improvements, basically just making it easier to talk to each other and uh, making the chat a lot more fluid in-game. Uh, sorry about that. That's my Skype. It's actually one of the devs contacting me. But again, for another time, we got party screen overhaul. Basically, that's just they completely revamped the party screen and made it a lot easier. If you're doing like an in-house, if you're in a guild 3v3, then uh, you actually have the captain who can place people in teams and you don't have to keep clicking that uh, switch teams button, which we know we all hate. Moving on, we have hero balance changes. Jewel just got completely buffed in every single way possible. That's why I have some gameplay down below to see if she's actually viable now because she really just wasn't viable in higher level gameplay before this patch. So she got her rocket leaf stun increased from 0.5 to 1.1 uh, and obviously that scales up as, it ha as, uh, as she scales up her ability. But I think that's really useful because if you can lock down a couple enemies with that, it's actually useful now. 0.5 seconds is basically nothing but 1.7 which is her max stun is enough for basically someone to get killed before they can even do anything so a really big improvement there and i'm really happy to see that also her uh, sun slash knockback area got increased by 20 percent really cool not really something i was looking for but always good to have now the next thing is she can now stack against hers that is her thunder strike can build stacks against hers which is something that couldn't happen in the previous update and i think it's one of the reasons that she was so weak because she couldn't take turrets very well if you guys don't know her thunder strike is where most of her damage comes from and that means that it's really hard to take turrets if you don't have that thunder strike stack that thunder strike stacking against the turret so really nice there also the stacks last now for 10 seconds rather than seven meaning that you can get from jungle camp to jungle camp much easier without having to worry about possibly losing your stack so that's always a good thing and then her stats got boosted a little bit as well now scarf also had a little bit of a change done to him he was very strong early game but very weak late game and they just tried to balance him out by changing his uh, heroic perk a little bit making it so that if you get more auto attacks on a person you will actually continue to um to build stacks on him instead of getting three max stacks you can now get four max stacks but each of those stacks does a little bit less than it normally would have so it used to be that your first auto attack would get uh three percent of their health and then the next auto attack would do six percent and then the auto attack after that would do nine percent but now it's actually you get two percent four percent six percent eight percent so you actually even at max stacks and even getting four auto attacks you're only going to get eight percent which uh, i know is not that much less than nine percent but it is very hard to get four auto attacks on someone so really they just buffed him down or nerfed him down a little bit to make him a little bit less lethal in the early game and hopefully make it a little bit easier to play against him because I know that Scarf early invades were always very difficult. And then they buffed his Dragon Breath ability just to make sure that he was a little bit useful later on in the game. Now coming to some item changes, we have the Breaking Point, which was basically only good on ranged characters before this patch, but now they're making it better for melee characters and worse for ranged characters. So it used to be at 12 weapon and that stacked every uh, second that you were attacking an enemy. And now that means you get plus 9 weapon damage when you're fighting as a ranged character, but plus 15 per second when you're fighting as a melee character. So really, melee characters are not going to benefit from something, like, from something like this. And I'm really hoping to see possibly a Glaive using this, because I know Glaive really focuses on getting stacks and uh, stuff like that. So maybe we'll see a Glaive breaking point build in the future. Not quite sure, but uh, definitely something to keep in mind. And then the Fountain of Renewal got changed from doing... Um, a lot of health over a little bit longer time to doing a little bit less health over a shorter amount of time. So basically, you're going to be getting not quite as much health, but you're going to be getting it in a lot shorter time, which means that if you're very low, you're going to be able to hit that and you're going to be able to get like almost immediate health back, which is really useful because if you were to uh, possibly take a couple more seconds, then you wouldn't be getting as much per second and therefore you probably wouldn't be able to survive because going against Ataka, you really need to have that health immediately. You can't just kind of slowly build it up. So that's sort of the thinking behind that. Then you have the Frostburn, which basically just got a little bit nerfed because people were trying to throw it into weapon builds because it gave that slow but it really just doesn't work well with weapon builds anymore because they uh, nerfed the slow from 35% to 15%, but then made it so that every 1% uh, slow is added for 10 crystal power. So basically, every 10 crystal power you have, you're going to get an extra percentage of slow. So say you have 200% crystal power, not quite sure if that's even 
um, something that's likely to happen, but that would mean that you would be getting an extra 20% slow and therefore getting the uh, normal frostborn frost burn slow. So anything over 200% crystal damage is actually going to mean that that's going to be more powerful. Anything less than 200% or 200 crystal damage is actually going to mean that that's a little bit not as good. But moving on here, we had the under review section, and that is just things that they're thinking about changing, but that they didn't change in this update. We got the shatter glass. Um, basically, people just aren't purchasing it as much. I'm not quite sure why that is. Personally, I really like that item, but uh, that's just me, and obviously, they have some reason to suspect that it's not being purchased that much. Then you have the broken myth, which I personally don't post it, purchase all that much. Wow, I'm getting my tongue tied here. And then they're also looking at Kashka and Taka for being maybe not quite as good in team fights and uh, late game. So that's pretty much the thinking behind that. They also have a what keeps us up late at night. And basically those are just things that uh, they know are wrong with the game, but that they couldn't fit, fix in this update. Because if you didn't know, when you change something in a game, that changes everything else's balancing and that sometimes causes other glitches. So instead of trying to fix everything at once and pretty much making the game completely new to players and making it hard for people to play, and then at the same time, possibly adding glitches and unbalanced characters, they decided to do it one at a time, and they're slowly going to work through all of these, hopefully, and uh, really just improve the game slowly and make sure that they don't do it wrong and uh, screw it up while they're trying to improve it. So that's kind of just all I have to say, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I thought it was pretty sweet, and uh, I'm definitely going to be happy to try it, Arden, fairly soon. But until next time, I am Commander Alex, and I will talk to you later.